Good morning and welcome back to the Crypto Moses channel. Hello everyone. Yesterday was freaking beautiful. The market went crazy. We had some great Grok plays with the squad. I'm hoping y'all made some money on that. I know right now we're seeing a little bit of a downturn, but that doesn't matter. In this video, we're focused on Shiba today. I pulled out my position and I'm waiting on for another entry for Grok. But let's find the next gem. And before that, let's look at the mothers of gems, right? Because Dodge would be the father, the mother of meme tokens. And let's get right into it. Literally, literally, as of what? Two couple days? In 22 days, ship is up 43%. But from yesterday, from yesterday, we're up 13%, which hasn't happened in a couple of months. Right, like we haven't had a gradual or a great increase like that in a long time. So this could be a catalyst to change the market. One thing I will say though, is the RSI is tapped out in every freaking position, four hours, the three hours, everywhere. It's showing me divergence as it's starting, which isn't great news, but everything needs a little bit of a pullback, right? Even if we get another five, 10, 15% pullback, it's not that bad from where we were. Right, even if we do what five percent to here, okay, we already did that. Let's say we get another five percent, we'll probably get down to here. Let's say we stabilize here. My recommendation would be to enter them, right? You need a good entry. So, if it gets back to here and it finds a position to hold itself, I would enter in for that upswing and that momentum that could continue. Remember, in crypto, it's very, very volatile, ship moves fast. So don't miss your opportunity because you're scared. Make sure it's in your trading plan and you're able to risk it. Otherwise, don't take the play. But SHIB is fucking killing it right now and we just hope it continues. One more thing too. I learned this from the regular stock market, I guess you could say. And if I put everything in the weak format, SHIB itself from its previous all-time high, pretty bad. We're down at around 90%. But usually, you guys, when a token or a coin or a stock gets that low, its only opportunity is up. It doesn't mean it won't go to zero. Like, I'm not saying it will go to zero, but I'm saying that it's at the lowest, some of the lowest points it's been for years. So it's a great buy price. Like, if you believe in SHIB or meme tokens, this is the time to enter. Here was not the time to enter. Here was not the time to enter. Here was not. It's now right? It's at this low, low of a number. I mean, look, at an all time, I think SHIB got down to uh, 92%, right? So it's a 92% down from its all time high when we had the meme craze and the entire market craze. But at that number, it's a good opportunity. This is the chance to start DCAing it, right? Dollar cost averaging in every day. Because if we get another big ass catalyst, and this really is the full bull market, Bro, you got a mad upside. You got a thousand percent. If it beats this top again, holy shit, the world's going to go crazy. It's unlimited from there. We don't know where it would stop. It just depends on the, the liquidity that enters, right? But if you literally look at it from right here, you have all this as the potential upside. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed. Doesn't mean it will for sure, for sure happen, but it means it could, right? It means it could. If like ship was only down 30%, I'd be like, ah, it's an all right buy. But at an 80% freaking low, 89% from its all-time high, a great buy price. Great time if, if you're interested in SHIB. Great time if you support SHIB. This is where I would recommend, like I said, DCing and piece by piece. And just be patient. Keep watching the market. Let's see what Bitcoin's doing right now. And let's see if... Yeah, see? Catalyst. It's always Bitcoin. As Bitcoin moves up, the rest will move up. I mean, literally. Let's just do an hour. Where are we at? So, just today. Full day, 2%. Not a big move. Not a big move. But it does look like a full uptrend, boys. Look at this shit. Come on. What? Right? It will need a pullback. Right? And, and just, just, just to say this. Don't be one of those fucking idiots that's all oh, crypto is going to crash. Everything needs a fucking pullback, bro. The regular fucking stock market has fucking pullbacks. So I hate it when people say that shit. Like everything's going to have a pullback. Everything's going to have an up and down. If everything just went up forever, it wouldn't be a fucking market. All right. So like just be patient and, and stick to your trading strategy. Like with this quick drawing here, to me, it represents that Bitcoin should have a small pullback. I'm hoping it's just something like this 
and it will just stabilize back to here. And remember, you always want to look at those like past resistance. Like where's the past points where the token had a, a heavy buy and sell, or the coin had a heavier buy sell signal, right? It had a, a heavy, mm, I don't know the word, don't judge me. Like, like it had a heavy stop where there was a lot of buys and a lot of sells, but it evened out. And in that position here, this is where you'll probably want to get back in for an entry. The good thing about Bitcoin and those bigger coins here is that like you're able to short them on exchanges or like meme tokens. I haven't really found a good way to short them. I just know that I jump out of them when I don't feel comfortable or it's not in my trading plan. But as of right now, here's what we know. Crypto's going crazy. Shit's going to keep moving and you don't want to miss the next run, right? You've missed the 2000 freaking 12 or 14 run. You missed the 2017 run. You probably missed the 2021 run. Don't get yourself out of this one just because you're afraid. My recommendation, take them out monthly and DCA, DCA into what you believe in. Or if you want to diversify it, put some into Bitcoin, put some into Ethereum, put some into a couple of the meme tokens that you've seen. And then that portfolio for the meme tokens, make it less. Or like if you're a day trader like me when you can, that doesn't matter because you're in and out. You're not leaving it as a long-term investment. Like I will never DCA into meme tokens. The, the, the fees are not worth it. Where in Bitcoin, Ethereum, you can. Exchanges don't charge that much. So this is your chance. I personally recommend stare at the market. This is the entries that count and make life-changing money within two, three, four years. And hopefully for some within a week, within a day. All right, I hope that's one of you. Thank you guys for watching. I always forget, but please like, share, and subscribe. It means the world. Comment below what you're thinking. I love replying to these comments. I like telling you guys where I'm at. I really am enjoying this journey, and it's kind of been nice learning how to share it online. I've never really been comfortable with that, so it's been a it's a, it's a, it's a learning journey, and I appreciate you all for sitting with me through it. All right? Thank you so much. Good luck trading today. Have a good time.